yeah i don't really get any of the almond in the coffee um hopefully it translates well when i add milk because i i'm not drinking a crema like i'm just not i'm not gonna sit here and inhale the coffee either so hopefully i get the almond that way oh, come on Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee and K. I am K, and in today's video, we are trying out the Forest Almond Flavor pods that Respresso has released as part of their festival holiday collection. I picked that up in the Virtuo pod, which is a 7.77 fluid ounce coffee pod in the original line, which is a 1.35 espresso pod, I believe. Yes, 1.35 ounce espresso pod. This is what they look like. So I, this one was the one I was most excited to try. And consequently, that's also the one that I've heard the most not very nice things about. I tried to stay away from re reviews. Um, I didn't want my opinion to be influenced. So I am still looking forward to trying it for myself one way or another. I'm gonna know today. Um, anyways, so before we get started, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you've picked up any of these. Um, as you can see, my Christmas decor is in full effect. I know normally I don't decorate until after Thanksgiving, but this year has been so hectic and so crazy that at this point in my life, girl, I am just like, whatever makes you happy, do it. If it sparks joy for me, I'm gonna do it, period. Um, if you are if you don't wanna decorate until after Thanksgiving, do you, I'm gonna do me and let's just all live cohesively and just be happy and mad. thank you so much for coming back. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new here, welcome, I am Kay. Uh, before we get started, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. When you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so again, we are trying out the Forest Almond Flavor Pod. The Virtual line has a 7.77 ounce coffee pod, and that one is said to have an aromatic profile that is warm and nutty. Aromatic notes are almond and vanilla. Um, the roastiness and body are a level two, and the bitterness and acidity is a level one. Um, it seems like it's gonna be a very mild pod, so I'm interested to see how they implemented the almond flavor as well as the vanilla flavor. I think that the two would go really well together, so hopefully they were able to achieve that. It says that this is a woody cereal and warm spice notes abound while a sweet fruit note shimmers through as subtly as sunlight filtering through canopy leaves. It's funny because the aromatic profile description was fairly similar to the one for the forest fruit flavor. I'm sorry, the forest black. Um, so that's interesting. I wonder if it just has that for all of them. Anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. If it achieves it, great. Um, the espresso one is a 1.35 ounce. That's for the original line. And that aromatic profile is also warm and nutty. However, the aromatic notes are vanilla, almond, and fruit notes as well. So that one does differ slightly from the Virtua pod. Um, for that one, okay, that one is very balanced. It is threes across the board for roastiness, bitterness, acidity, and body. I am really looking forward to trying that now um i'm gonna go ahead and brew them i will show you the process of both of those pods brewing then i will try them both for you black try the crema if there is any and then add some milk i think i'm also going to add some syrup i'm not entirely sure what syrup i want to add um i was not able to pick up the almond syrup or the amaretto syrup from tarani just yet but i think that both of those would go really well with this pod so anywho, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna brew the pods and I will be back. Where'd you go? Do you know how I've been living without you? I'm 
This is the Bertuo pod. There is quite a bit of crema. Um, mm, oh, wow. That smells so good. I absolutely smell the almond flavor. It smells so, so, so good. I'm not going to lie. Last year, I did try the Amaretto pod they had and the pecan biscotti, and I love both of those. I wish they would have come back out with those, but I feel like this one may be a close second, especially once I get that Amaretto syrup from Tarani, but this smells yeah, I'm getting that almond flavor right off the bat. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and try the crema. It's plenty of it. Pull some of that in. I should have let it sit for a little bit. Anyways, what is that? Okay, let's try the crema. Definitely get the almond and the crema, which I really, really like. Um, oh my goodness. Mm. I don't like crema. I don't care how many times I try it. I'm never going to enjoy trying it. But this one, I do get the almond in that. So that's really, really good. Okay. Let's try it black. If I can get to the coffee from the crema. Okay, I don't get as much of the almond in the coffee, um, hardly any, so. Yeah, I don't really get any of the almond in the coffee. Um, hopefully it translates well when I add milk, cause I, I'm not drinking a crema. Like I'm just not, I'm not gonna sit here and inhale the coffee either, so. Hopefully I get the almond that way. Oh, this is what the pod looks like as well. There is that. Okay. So I frothed my milk and again, it's the silk um, extra creamy, which hasn't really been frothing very well for me. Okay, that actually produced something. So that's cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to that. Okay. I do get a bit of the woodiness in the coffee black. Um, now that I'm sitting here, I can taste a little bit of the woodiness on my tongue. And whatever. let's just see how it is with the milk. It's hot, but I do get a bit more of the almond um, now as I'm drinking the coffee, and it's really, really pleasant. I think that it's good. I could use more almond, so I definitely will be getting the almond or the amaretto flavor from Tarani. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I have to look into it a little bit more, but I know that almond can be really intense for a lot of people, and a lot of people don't like when it's too much almond flavor. Um, it can get real 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 fast so i could use more almond which is why i'm going to purchase the syrup to add to this but i think for people who just want a hint of that almond flavor i think this is going to be perfect for them now i don't get much of the vanilla um which is fine with me because i just want the almond anyway so for me it's good it's definitely lacking on the almond flavor which i can add so it's not a big deal but for those of you who just want a subtle almond flavor i think you'll really enjoy this um let's move on to the original one 
Okay, here's the espresso for the original pod. This is what that pod looks like. Again, that's just an espresso shot. 1.35 ounces. Let me give this a bit of a stir. There's obviously no more crema left. Um, there isn't usually very much anyway. Again, with this one, I do smell it. Um, this one is a little different. I'm gonna put the comparisons up here, but I remember um, the coffee, the virtual line was a little more mild, but with the original line, everything was balanced, threes across the board. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that carries over. Definitely get the acidity. You don't get very much of the almond in the black coffee, but let's go ahead and add the milk and it's just the leftover milk from that. Okay, I'm just gonna add that much. I definitely smell the almond. Mm. I love when I see that they're balanced or even when they have like a high level of bitterness because as soon as you add the milk, it just means it's gonna be so smooth. The body's gonna be really nice and this is no exception. This is so good. I get the almond flavor. Again, it's very subtle. Um, I do get a little bit more of the vanilla and this one's really, really creamy when I added the milk to it. So this is very pleasant. Um, definitely liking the original lime pot a little bit better. I just feel like the components come together a little bit more and they also are a little it's a little more balanced um and i love a good body so i love the body on this once you add the milk um you smell the almond you taste the almond you get the vanilla i love this pod i'm so glad that it did not disappoint this is very pleasant i cannot wait until i get the almond syrup from tarani to try it with this and to just make it even better mm. You know what, I wanna get the shortbread as well because I saw a recipe for snickerdoodle, but I'm thinking the shortbread and the almond would pair very well, almost um, like an almond biscotti type vibe. I, I think that'll be really good. I'm definitely, stay tuned for that recipe. I'm definitely gonna try to recreate that. Yeah. Yeah, this one's really, really good. I like this a lot. Um, let me know if you've tried this pod. Let me know if you plan on trying it, how you're feeling about the new pod so far. Um, I've tried this one in the Forest Black in the original line, and so far I'm happy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurchase this one. I wanna play with it a little bit more, but I do like it. I just honestly have so much coffee. Um, but as I play with it, if I do like it, I will repurchase it only because it is limited edition. And that way, you know, I won't be able to get it later. So I may pick up another sleeve of this one, um, this one in particular. But I got to get that syrup first to make sure that, you know, what I'm seeing is going to actually come to fruition. It's going to be what I expect it to be. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. When you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.